My name is Jalen Proctor, and I chose to do the motivational speech on self-evaluation and personal judgment. As we all know, there is no cure to psychopathy. No pill can make you have empathy. No vaccine can prevent somebody from going on a murder spree. And no amount of therapy can change the mind of an uncaring, ruthless person. Rather than judging mental illness off personal judgment, whether you be... Whether you are a psychiatrist or not, you should always have a self-evaluation of your personal judgment. First of all, you need to recognize your uh, default biases. Although humans are capable of acting irrational, most of the time their behavior is driven by emotional, spontaneous, and unconsciousness mo motives. However, once we get to the bottom of our irrationalities and are able to explain why we act the way we do, we at least become more predictable and consistent, which in return makes us more rational. Duke University professor and behavioral economics expert Dan O'Reilly said, said it best when he described people as predictably irrational. The key issue then is to understand in what precise ways we are biased. For example, do we attend more potential threats or rewards? Are we more intuitive or data-driven? Are we more focused on short-term details or the long-term picture? Being aware of our inner biases is the main prerequisite for overcoming them, or at least keeping them in check. Secondly, you need to accept your mistakes. People with great judgment assume responsibility for their, mis their mistakes. They are not self-deceived, nor do they seek to deceive others. Instead, they understand when they have made the wrong decision, and they are willing to take on board the negative feedback. Although this self-punitive um, attitude is less flattering to our egos than being in denial, example, blaming someone else, ignoring the facts, or distorting reality, it pays off in the long run. And finally, you need to learn from experience. They say that um, they say experience is what you get when you don't get what you wanted, but you make it in count. And in order to make experience truly valuable, all you need to do is avoid repeating the same mistake. This, is seem, this may seem easier said than done, but once you are aware of your bias and accept responsibility of yourself and your, your errors that you made, it is only natural to not do it again. As Henry Ford noted, life is a series of experiences, each one of, a, each one of which make us bigger, even though sometimes it is hard to realize this. For the world was to be... The For the World was built to develop character, and we must learn that setbacks and griefs which we endure help us on marching forward in life. The best decision makers in the world succeed because they have the ability to capitalize on their mistakes. They also keep refining their judgment and defy their own flawed logic. This higher degree of self-awareness and coachability enables them to outperform individuals who are more rigid and set to their, their principles. Thank you for listening to my speech.